Telemann, thank you so much for, for joining me for the Makepe ride along this morning. Thanks for having me, man. Um, yo, I haven't spoken to you in a while, hey. I think it's let's. Been it's been a. It's been a while, man. How have you been with COVID nineteen, uh, lockdown? As a creative, I can't imagine. Ah, uh, it's been it's been crazy, bro. Yeah. But at first, it was fine. When but you thought then, it was three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought it was three weeks. But um, and then eventually it, it got to me, like mentally, like you, you start to. You start to think a lot. You, you know, start to question and, things about yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, now yeah. You don't get out. You're always in your own space. You know. Yeah. Sometimes you just need to get out just to to, to get some air and and get those creative uh, juices flowing. Man. Yeah. So Tell me, let's go back, right? Um, I, I don't remember the year. Drinks and music. That was 2014. 2014, eh? I mean, for me, the first time, I'm like, yo, there's talent here. Was what that that was the song? Mm -hmm. If you listen to that song, very housey. But now that I've gotten to know you, uh, you know from your albums, um, you're a soulful guy. Um, you know, you're a soulful guy. You're a singing guy. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you decide on the direction of music that you are going to take? Because I'm sure, because of the talent, you could have gone either or. Uh, soul has always been like a part of, you know, m me in a way. Okay. It, do, it doesn't matter if it's like dance music or hip hop or R and B. There's always gonna be like melodies, chords, you know, like something that is gonna be musical about what I'm doing at yeah. that point in time. So, for me, that part has always been like a part of me. Yeah. Since I started making music, it's just a, a matter of like being in in a space where I feel like I wanna do this this time around. Or yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 I'm, and I'm always, uh, I guess, interested in knowing, especially when it comes to album, right? Um, God decides. Do you decide um, on the kind of sound that you're going to go for? Because I find that South Africa is very seasonal in terms of the sound. Home, hmm. gone, my piano here. If you don't know what the next sound is, how much pressure are you under, especially as a creative, to either be in with what everyone thinks is in, or to just stick to what you do and you're about to be. I've I've always stuck to to what I like and and what I think is best for me when yeah. it comes to anything actually you know what I'm saying so um, I've been making this kind of music when um, Big Nas was and then was like the thing like the, the, exactly, yes you know yes yes which was like the the biggest so dance music will always be there will probably still be the biggest thing 20 years but there's now. also a gap for exactly but at the end of the day not everyone wants to listen to dance music every single day i All see day, you know i I'm see so i, I see. think that creates a space or a gap for people like me and other artists to to actually share what we what we have to, to offer I, I i love the friendship that you have with nasty c you know you guys were were boys before the fame you guys were boys before both of you guys blew up like do you guys ever sit back now and you're like yo man do you see what we're doing we used to talk about this before yeah it's not a it's not a, a normal thing but it happens from time to time you know? were you like, sitting somewhere yeah like there, there are those moments where you're like oh my god like <laughs> like we we're actually this doing far. this like, thing yeah. yeah we came this far which is the most important thing uh thing in life to to have people around you that you've witnessed you know like struggling coming up mm. you know to them being like the biggest artists in in in, in the continent yeah you know yeah saying? yeah you cannot yeah. deny the fact that uh, nasty is like one of the biggest you know the and, biggest you, yeah. we can argue about the other things <laughs> the biggest yeah you know what i'm saying so um yeah man for me like i, I always try to tell my my, my friends like and give them those props when, whenever when, I when can, they do, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it takes a, a bit of a lot of hard work, actually, yeah, to get yeah. Like where they they've been.
how have you managed to keep your circle small as much as people are trying to get into your space and why do you think it's so important for you to keep your circle that small uh i mean uh I do socialize with people yeah. and stuff like that, but when it comes to, to friends, I feel like that's something that is really important. Yeah. You can't just be friends with anybody, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because it takes it takes years of, you know, patience and, and, and just trying to, to, to learn about a person. Yeah. You know, and understand yeah. them, you know, their flaws. You know, the, you know everything about them. So I feel like you, I can't just meet you today and say we, we're friends tomorrow. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, like, yeah. The friends that you know that I have, I've been friends with for like over six, seven years. So, 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 you, so yeah. you've been boys for a long time. For a very long time. So that that's why maybe the circle is so small. <laughs> Whip came out, um, arguably one of the biggest crossover songs, um, you know, at that time. A and it's weird because I was speaking to you before we started. It was the biggest. You, I don't think there was anything bigger than that. Yeah. When you when you are writing the song in studio or maybe recording, I know sometimes artists generally will feel, I thought this was a hit. Oh, I know this was. What was the thought process behind Whip when you wrote it? Did you know the song was going to be as big as it was? Uh, it's crazy because. Whipped wasn't for me. I wrote whip for somebody else. Who's this person? Um, Matthew, ah, there's a there's an artist called Matthew Matthew Gold. I which, know Matthew Gold. Yes. Yeah. Which we ended Cape up. Town Matthew Gold. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So we ended up um, writing two songs for him that we 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 initially wrote three, and then he chose two. One of them was laid down. Oh yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Which, which also was a hit. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, when I was wrapping up the album, wait, 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 stop. Whipped was also there. Whipped was part so of it. So he could have laid down and whipped. Exactly. Yo, okay. <laughs> so eventually, when I was, I was uh, finishing off the album, I actually bumped into to this idea, the whipped idea. Yeah. So I was like, let me just finish this song, you know, and and see what you know what we can do with it. And then that's when I reached out to Shikana. Um, and then, yeah, man, we, we finished it. Uh, I played it to the guys. They were like, let's have it on the album. And fast forward, it was like the biggest song in... No, as in insane. I mean, I mean, as a writer, so the, you write a lot of songs for other people. Have you ever written a song like like me, like lay down where you like yo no I should have kept the song for myself. I, I love that song, man. Um, it happens. It happens. But <laughs> we you, like maybe this one. Yeah, but you know you have it's to. It's too late. Yeah, you have to 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 stick to the to the script, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If you promise somebody something, you just have to show up. <laughs> I get. You know what I'm saying? A uh, brand new single is about love, right? Tell me about the single, and also. Speak to me about you and love. What do you mean? What, about me and love? What's your new single title? Love again. <laughs> then you're in love. N no, I'm not in love. Okay. No, I'm not in love. I'm not even in a relationship. Cause love again to me sounds like I found love again. Uh, I had given up now. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So what's love again all about? Uh, it's basically about that. You know, it it could be also, it could be um, a song where about two people that have been in a relationship but they have had like you know trouble you know in their relationship and stuff like that yeah so it could be like that song where it's like we can still you know you know find our way back type of thing you know okay but, yeah but the song wasn't necessarily inspired by uh, me being in love in, in that moment in time you know it was just inspired by um, what I'm, I'm surrounded by, like the people that I'm, I'm friends with. You know, oh, so I've it could be friendship love. It could be family love. It could be, it could be a song about you and your person, but because you guys are in my life and I'm witnessing all of this. Oh, you know, so it was that, okay. I see, you know it must not be about you. Exactly. Okay, I get you. you know, I get you. That's why I'm saying, like most of the times, the things that I write about are obviously my own experiences and also the people that are around me it mm. could be family it could be yeah. like my closest friends yeah. 
where, where, where do we find your new single, man? If I want to go ahead and, and download it, where do I find your, your, your new single? Uh, my new single, Love Again, produced by myself and Lasty, is out every single digital store you can find. Um, yeah, just search for the name Teleman. I'm sure it's the first song that's going to pop up. I thought you were going to say search for Teleman, yeah? I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't help it. Everybody says that, though. It's crazy. Everybody <laughs> says, I do an interview, and they're like, I thought you were going to say Teleman. Oh, I was God, listen, God. I was holding it in the whole time. Like, I'm going to say this. Everyone <laughs> says that. It's crazy, man. Like... Great coffee.